The astonishing queen of the Amazons and the mother of Wonder Woman, Hippolyta is an ageless immortal warrior of Themyscira with more than 3,000 years of experience in handheld weapons and hand-to-hand -hand combat. Possessing augmented strength and intelligence, Hippolyta has high durability and enhanced agility. She can destroy steel and concrete with her bare hands and can jump over 25 feet from a standing position. Welcome to TCNES and this is the definitive publication history of Queen Hippolyta. Like most Themyscirian Amazons, Hippolyta has a heightened level of strength and intelligence and has the ability to heal from any physical injury and toxins by immersing their body onto Earth while praying to Gaia. Hippolyta has access to various magical artifacts such as the Sandals of Hermes, which gave her the power of flight and speed, and the Gauntlet of Atlas, which immensely increased her strength and durability. Hippolyta has also wielded a broad sword and the Lazo of Truth when she became Wonder Woman. This broad sword was created by Hephaestus and can slice the electrons off of an atom and can injure Superman. Based on Greek mythology, Hippolyta was introduced in 1941 under the name of Hippolyte during the Golden Age of comic books the same time Steve Trevor was introduced. The original version created by William Moulton Marston was a brunette like Diana. During the age of ancient Greece, Hippolyte and the Amazons lived in Amazonia until they were mesmerized by Hercules. Hercules seduced Hippolyte causing her to remove her girdle. Hercules stole the girdle and this caused the Amazons to lose their super strength and Aphrodite's sympathy for them. They were eventually forgiven but they have to wear bracelets as a reminder not to be fooled by men again and they were relocated to Paradise Island away from the evils of men. They will remain immortals as long as they remain in Paradise Island and as long as Hippolyte is in possession of the magic girdle. I only hope you prove more skilled in this arena, Ares. By 1958, the name Hippolyte became Hippolyta and her hair was changed to blonde while wearing a triple-pointed tiara. Silver Age Hippolyta is still closely identical to the Golden Age version with a few changes. In 1973, it was founded that Hippolyta had crafted a second daughter from clay whose name is Nubia, a dark-skinned sister of Wonder Woman but was kidnapped by Mars. Hippolyta also became Donna Troy and her adoptive mother. Hippolyta's birthday is January 8 according to DC's 1976 calendar. Any changes today? When George Perez took over Wonder Woman in 1987, he overhauled the origins of all the Amazons. Here, the Amazons were created by Athena, Artemis, Aphrodite, Hestia, and Demeter. They reincarnated the souls of women murdered by men in the past. Hippolyta's soul came from a pregnant cavewoman who was killed by a man in 32,000 BCE. Diana's soul came from the unborn child. The souls were sent to the bottom of the Aegean Sea to merge with clay. Hippolyta was the first one to appear and she was pronounced as the queen. She stood 5'9", 130 pounds, and had curly black hair. The second Amazon to appear was her sister Antiope, who became second in command. Then the goddesses blessed the Amazons with different gifts. Athena gave them wisdom, Aphrodite gave them internal and external beauty, Artemis gave them hunting skills, Hestia gave them warm homes, and Demeter gave them bountiful harvests. They gave Hippolyta and Antiope each a golden girdle of Gaia as a reminder of their responsibilities. The Amazons then established the city of Themyscira in Anatolia and became known as ferocious warriors of peace throughout Greece, Turkey, and Rome. See you later! Jealous with the goddess's love for the Amazons, Ares manipulated Heracles and his army to attack the Amazons. When Heracles was defeated by Hippolyta, he offered an alliance. On the feast that followed, Heracles and his men drugged the Amazons' wine. He stole the girdle of Gaia and the Amazons were raped, became prisoners, and their houses were burned down. Hippolyta then prayed to Athena. 
Athena agreed to help them with the condition that the Amazons will not seek vengeance against their captors. Hippolyta agreed but upon freeing the Amazons, they broke Hippolyta's promise and they killed Heracles' men. Heracles and Theseus escaped. Still wanting revenge, Antiope renounced ties with the goddesses for allowing this event to happen and gave her golden girdle to Hippolyta. She said goodbye to Hippolyta to search for Heracles and Theseus. The descendants of Antiope's group would later on become the Amazons of Banamigdal. As penance for killing Heracles' men, Hippolyta and the Amazons were given immortality and were assigned to an island to safeguard a doorway that connects to an evil dimension called the Doom's Doorway. This island was later on called Demoscara. Your mother, the Amazon Queen, led a revolt that freed us all from enslavement. Much later, Hippolyta started to feel a strange yearning. The oracle Menalipi explained that she yearns for her unborn child from her previous life. She was then ordered to go to the shore and form an infant out of clay. The goddesses and Hermes combined the soul of her unborn child to the clay and gave the child various gifts. Demeter granted the child with power and strength, Aphrodite gave her great beauty and a loving heart, Athena gave her wisdom, Artemis gave her the eye of the hunter and unity with the beasts, Hestia gave her the ability to open man's heart, and Hermes gave her speed and the power of flight. She was then named Diana after Diana Trevor, a pilot Hippolyta met years prior who sacrificed her life to save the Amazons. Diana Trevor was later on revealed as the mother of Steve Trevor. This child will then become Wonder Woman. After Diana fulfilled the challenge of the gods, the Amazons were liberated from their punishment. They retained their immortality while becoming free to live however they want. Hippolyta then commenced to have a relationship with the outside world and Diana became their ambassador to the United Nations. On her visit to Greece, Diana came across Circe, a powerful sorceress who did not want the ideals of the Amazons and hated the Olympians. Circe teleported the Amazons of Banamigdal to Themyscira to create a war between the two Amazon tribes. While fighting, Circe then transported the island of Themyscira into a demonic dimension and trapped the Amazons. Circe made an offer that she would return the island if Diana kills an innocent soul. And Diana did. Circe, be careful, she's- Yeah, I've read the Odyssey. That it for you? Hippolyta started to foresee Wonder Woman's death in the future while being in the demonic dimension. When they got back, she launched a new tournament for a new Wonder Woman under the pretense that Diana is unable to fulfill her duties in man's world. With the help of Magala, Hippolyta applied some magical interventions of transferring some of Diana's strength to Artemis so Diana would lose. Artemis won and she became the new Wonder Woman. However, after a few events in man's world, Artemis easily died in battle. Diana later on discovered the truth and she never truly forgave Hippolyta. Upon the death of Artemis, Hippolyta became depressed and went on a self-imposed banishment. Because some of Diana's strength was with Artemis, Diana was then killed by Neron. Upon her death, the Olympian gods made her become the goddess of truth. As punishment, Hippolyta became the new Wonder Woman. However, Hippolyta in due course enjoyed the adventures and freedom of being a Wonder Woman. She used a broad sword and wore a blue skirt instead of briefs. As Wonder Woman, Queen Hippolyta got on a mission with Jay Garrick that required her to travel back to 1940 where she joined the Justice Society of America and stayed in that decade for 8 years. 
Her JSA nickname became Polly and she had a relationship with Ted Grant, aka Wildcat. Hippolyta also joined the JLA when she came back to the present timeline. Diana eventually gave up her goddess form and became Wonder Woman again. However, Hippolyta did not want to resign as Wonder Woman, leaving two different Wonder Women in the same timeline. Because Hippolyta was starting to neglect her duties as queen, Diana was often upset with this situation, thus driving a wedge in their mother-daughter relationship. Eventually, Hippolyta sacrificed herself to save the Earth from Imperiex, and her spirit joined the spirits of Antiope and Diana Trevor. On the one-year storyline, Circe revived and manipulated Hippolyta into resuming leadership of the Amazons and attacking the U.S. government. They are illustrated using winged steeds and other mythological creatures. Hippolyta then impaled Circe with a battle spear through the chest. Despite this, Hippolyta still wanted war with the Americans, and her chaotic and bloodthirsty actions started to concern her Amazon generals. Because of the devastations of the war, Athena punished Hippolyta to become alone in Themyscira. It was later revealed that it was actually Granny Goodness taking the form of Athena when the new gods of Apocalypse have kidnapped the Greek deities. Hippolyta, with the help of Harley Quinn, Catwoman, Holly Robinson, and Mary Marvel, they defeated Granny. I must confess, my queen, it feels like the first day of school. And yet you could not find a bigger sword, Artemis? In the new 52 reboot of DC, Hippolyta is blonde again, youthful, and she retained her fierce warrior attitude. Here, Hippolyta did not create Diana from clay. She had a relationship with Zeus, which she hides to avoid Hera's rage. When Hera discovered the truth, she turned Hippolyta into stone and the rest of the Amazons into snakes, effectively destroying Themyscira. Mother! No! Forgive me. I should have been here to protect you. On DC Rebirth, Hippolyta's origin was revised once more. She is a brunette again and with a more peaceful temperament, and she was more proud than angry when Steve Trevor crashed on the island and Diana won the tournament to bring him back. She was later on convinced by Diana to create an official Amazon embassy which aims to provide a support system for the world. Finally, in the DC Extended Universe, Connie Nielsen portrays Hippolyta in numerous films. Wonder Woman and Justice League in 2017, Wonder Woman 1984 in 2020, and Zack Snyder's Justice League in 2021. All in all, the Queen of the Amazons, Hippolyta, is a powerful warrior who can always rival Wonder Woman. She is well loved by the Olympian gods and has become a member of the Justice League in many occasions. Did we miss any vital information about Hippolyta? Tell us what you think on the comments below and hit subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.